Now here in this video we are going to see how we can use this boolean operators. Already we have discussed about your different kind of variables, different kind of operators like your arithmetical and relational operators. Now here I am going to talk about the boolean operators. Now if I am talking about boolean operators again we have already seen it uses your or or and operators. Now again we can also use exclamation sign for not. Now if suppose I want to check if any particular value is false or true, I can give just a not command. So which is called as an inversion. Now if suppose there is a true value, I want to make it false. So what I'll do, I'll make it exclamation false. So automatically it will reverse or inverse the value what exactly you have. Same way hyphen O, it can be used for OR values. Like either it can be a greater or it can be a smaller. Means any way, any, way, any one condition will only get true both won't get true at a time. So I can go for O. So here I can see your A is the value of your B value is less than or equals to 20 and same way B value is greater than or equals to 100. So it has the OR in between that is O in between. So either this can be true or this can be true. So any, value, any of the value can be true or any of the value can be false. So any condition can true get true or false. But here if I give hyphen A, hyphen A means and. So if this both the values which I have added like hyphen or your variable A is less than or 20 and if it is greater than 100 then only the variable or the output which you have that will be true. So it cannot accept any one value. If one is false, other is true, the complete value will be false. The complete output will be false means you are not satisfying the condition what we have added here right so this particular type of operators we can use while i'm going to compare my two different variables either by using the or or by using the and operators so let us check a small program using this operators into our shell so here i'm going to use the boolean operators so i've used a fall with the same break because here again we will require a condition so i've just defined a condition that uh, we have uh, values 1, 2 and 3. So this is the value list I have. For B in 0 to 5, we are defining that the value between A and B, if it is 0 to 5, so it should break onto 2 itself. So I have just defined the boolean operator into that. You can see this if A is equal to 2 and your B is equal to 0. So the value should break over there itself. So uh, I'll the add the add value here. We can check. We have already defined the A's value. So it will go on calculating unless you are getting the range between 0 to 2. That is, is it equal to 1 or equal to 2. So I'll just run it. You can see 0 plus 1, right? 0 and this is your 5. So it's just this particular value, either it is equal to 2 and this is again equals to 0, then only it is going to add the value. So it is like we are added the break statement so that it's it's actually uh, stopped somewhere. Otherwise, this is an uncontrollable loop we have. But this is how we generally use an AND condition in between your two different you know conditions which you define. So here, this A means your AND operator. Same way. We can also use the AND operator into a function where generally I have used the if as such. You can see this is the AND operator I have defined like the value which I want. It should be between your 10 and 5. So I have added the AND operator. So if the operator we have set is either in between these two values, it will give me a proper output. So I can check here. So I'll just define this is end and now I'm going to add the value is between not 10 to 5 but it should give me the value that is, is between 5 to 10. So I've just set a, a statement that the value should be between greater than 5 the B should be greater than 5 and A should be less than 10. So I've just defined it. And here again I'm going to define 
and the spaces matter here like if you have provided a wrong space again it will give you an error so here I've just defined this values like if uh, a is less than 10 and uh, b is greater than 5 then the value will be between 5 to 10 let us check if.sh I'm going to run here the first value I'm going to give that is 2 and the second value is 4 so it is showing me the value is not between 5 to 10 so that means it is checking for both the values right and so this should be greater than 5 and this one should be greater than less than 5 so this is let uh, means one should be greater than 5 and another should be less than 10 this is what exactly we have seen over here like how we can use this operators and operators and your or operators you can use into some of the functions so that you can get a proper output so into next video I'm coming up with the, the other operators which we generally use that is called as your string operators so let us check into the next video